Hi my little zebras! Today I am going to film a living abroad tag where I am going to answer a whole bunch of questions about what it is to live in a different country. Um, there is going to be a decent amount of background noise here. Um, where I am currently, um, there, there, there's people in the streets all the time. There's cars, there's motorbikes, there's buses. Um, so it's definitely different than my other videos that I've had where it's been nice and quiet. Um, that is a huge difference um, from living here in the Dominican Republic rather than back where I live at home. Um, there's just not people outside as much. Um, but I've gotten used to it. It actually, the, the other day, I was like, why is it so quiet? <laughs> And it just happened to be a quiet time of the day. I don't know. So, all right, let's get started. Um, all right, what country do I live in? Obviously, hello, the Dominican Republic. If you don't know that by now, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe watch more of my videos and give me more views. Thanks. All right. Um, okay, how long have I lived here? Um, I've lived here for about two weeks. Um, today, um, the day that I'm filming this, is the two-week mark that I've been here. Um, and it's been a very good week, two weeks, a very eye-opening two weeks, a very... Um, sweaty and warm two weeks, but it's been good. Um, have you ever lived in another country? No, I've never even been to another country until I met my fiance. So he's definitely uh, opened up a lot of wonderful doors for me here. Um, all right, was it hard to get residence or to get a visa or anything like that? Um, I didn't need a visa to come here, I just needed a passport. Um, and I'm not a resident here. Um, I'm still a visitor. After you get off of the airplane, you have to buy a visitor card, um, and that lasts for 30 days. Um, I'm going to be here longer than 30 days, so when I leave to go back to America, I'm just going to have to pay a little bit of a, a little bit of money. So it's not a big deal at all. Um, okay, what has my worst experience been while living here? I don't feel like I have a worst experience. Um, everything that I've experienced here has just been new and different. Um, I would say anything that would come close to not being the best experience is just getting used to the heat. Um, you know, it is typically 80, 90 degrees. Sometimes the real feel is a real feel is 100. Then there's the humidity on top of it. I mean, we're in the Caribbean, so of course it's going to be hot. Um, so I've had to get used to that. Um, Right now, I am staying at a place that doesn't have air conditioning either. So that's been a little bit getting used to sleeping um, in the heat, um, but it, it really isn't that bad. I haven't gotten used to it. I've only been here for two weeks, and I can already tell that I'm not sweating as much, um, and things are slowly starting to get easier. So it just it just takes time to get adjusted. Um, okay, do I speak the language of my country? And no, I don't. Um, the language of the Dominican Republic is Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish, but I am learning um, being immersed in the language in church, at work, um, and basically everywhere. Um, I'm slowly starting to pick up some words. I'm also doing my own studying, um, where I just, I'm sort of just playing little games online, um, and I'm starting to pick up different parts of the conversation. As my fiancé, who obviously is my personal translator, um, when he's talking to other people, I'm starting to pick out different words so I can slowly get a general idea about what they're talking about. So it's definitely coming. I mean, it has only been two weeks, um, but I, I'm definitely, I definitely know a whole lot more than I did before. So good for that. Um, do I miss my family? Of course I miss my family and my friends and my dog, my little maxi boy. Um, but that's just a normal part of not being with people and with your normal surroundings. I don't, you know, regret regret coming here at all. I am more happier than I've ever been in my life. But of course I do miss my family. But I've Skyped with my parents many times. Um, so we definitely still keep in contact for sure. Um, all right, what things do you miss from home? Um, I think maybe the most thing that I've missed from home is just sort of being able to just jump in my car and go someplace. Sort of the little independence that I've that I had as a woman um, that you sort of I mean you take for granted um, here my fiance does not have a car so we do public transportation we take a bus to work we take a bus home sometimes we take taxis um, it, it's not a big deal at all it's just it's taken some time to sort of get used to you know waiting for the bus or sitting on the bus for an hour to get somewhere um okay what 
what would you give what would you give someone who wants to visit like what what tips or suggestions if you would come to visit the Dominican Republic chances are you won't come into the city where I'm living um, you would typically go to like Punta Cana or any of the beaches area beach areas on the outside for like a vacation um, so people there speak English there's obviously hotels there's all the typical like American type of things um, but I'm not here for vacation. I'm here to live, to get married, um, to work, to live a normal life with my future husband. So it is a little bit different. Um, any tips I would give? I mean, just, it's going to take time to get used to the constant heat all the time. Um, some places have running water, some don't. So you sort of have to get used to that um, to a degree. Um, just sort of some of the American luxuries that we're used to and that I'm used to. Um, it's just not available here because this is not America. <laughs> um, but again, it just takes time. And I have a very loving and wonderfully sweet future husband who has been very patient with me. Um, and, and that obviously helps too with the adjustment. Um, okay, and then last one is describe in one word my experience in this country. And I would say amazing. Um, despite me being hot and things being different, it, it's been amazing. I'm, I'm with my future husband. I mean, for so long, I've just talked to him through my phone or through Skyping, and now I'm with him all the time. So we're starting our lives together, we're getting used to each other, our different personalities, um, and just being in a whole different culture. As different as it is, it's, it's, it's been a godsend, it really is, and, and it's bringing me closer to God and closer to my fiancé, and it's, it's wonderful. So amazing would be what I would say. So. All right, well, there you go. Hope you learned a little bit more about what I'm doing right now and how it is to live in a different country. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.